We seem to be hopeless, but we are not because our government is supposed to, to listen and adhere to the ruling of the Supreme Court. So this is why we are crying far. Seemingly losing the battle for improved salaries for and government workers, the Zambia Congress of Trade Union is now looking for a 2015 that will be free of wage freeze. In, in their submissions to the 2015 national budget, the Zambia Congress of Trade Union has demanded that the wage freeze be nowhere close and that the budget for extra emoluments should be included. Is a bit frustrating, but at the same time a bit dangerous because if you have a court order which has been given by the highest court in the land, and then government which are which stands for the rule of law. Are you saying government is defining that order? It, yes, they are. They are. They are clearly defining that. They are even challenging us to say, why can't you take us to court? Why should we take them to court when there is already a ruling by the Supreme Court? And we took them to the ILO. I think you should photocopy this paper and give our colleagues. We took them to the ILO. Again, they lost the case. So we have a situation where the government, which is supposed to protect us, to defend us, the workers, are in the forefront of, uh, of doing illegalities. Union General Secretary Roy Mwaba has also proposed a tax-free earning adjustment from 3,000 kwacha to 4,000 kwacha. In the 2015 budget, we are proposing that the taxable threshold be raised from 3,000 to 4,000. Improving the agriculture sector is another thing the union wants government to attach more resources to. Government should sustain and increase input subsidies to the sector to encourage our productivity. The budgeting proposal has since been submitted to the Ministry of Finance. Whether or not ZCTU's budget submissions will include convincing proposals the Ministry will pick on is something that will be known when Finance Minister Alexander Chikwanda presents the budget to Parliament. Mwapek Mwenda, Movie TV News, Lusaka.